This could be the final shakeout before a major rally. If you're new here, my name is Tyrell and I'll show you how to make money online and invest the profits. And today I have proof that this could be the last shakeout. I'm going to show you the evidence and I'm also going to show you the plays that I am personally making based upon this data. So this all comes from a tweet that I've seen online. Uh, and it's been going around a lot lately. You can see it's got over 347,000 views. It's been going pretty viral in the space. And it says here, it says, the bull run hasn't even started yet. Don't get shaken out. In 2016, BTC had a 30% correction post halving. In 2020, BTC had a 20% correction post halving. Alts went parabolic a few months later. And this happened in my history too, right? In 2017, I was in the crypto space and I didn't have much money to invest into. But 2020, I had plenty. I was running e-commerce businesses. I was making money online, but you can see it on this YouTube channel. And I decided to go into the crypto space. In doing so, I invested every penny from my business. It sounds great making 10 or 20 grand a month, but I didn't spend any of it put everything into crypto. And at the time, I wasn't a genius. I wasn't experienced. I'm still not now. And I got wrecked on this 20% correction. In fact, I thought that it might have been over. And a few weeks later, I kept my head down, turned off my phone. And before I knew it, it was an altcoin rally. And my whole portfolio was, it went even though it was down 50%, it doubled and it doubled and it doubled and it doubled. And it doubled. Like the coins that I held, like for example, like Swissborg and Sand, uh, which you guys definitely have heard of, did 50 X's, some of them even like 100 X's. So yeah, I think that this is a similar similar situation and other people do agree. You can see it here, right? So here you can see the all-time high and the dates below. This is 2017 rally. So wrecked rally, right? You can see it again. This was the rally again, right? 546 days, okay? Wrecked. And rally all the way to all time high. Now, some people do consider this as the halving, like uh, sorry, as the uh, the high. If you look at the uh, pie cycle indicator or some of the other indicators that I do use on this channel, people do say that that was the high and that this was a uh, a relief rally. But again, um, this was the all time high, about five hundred and forty six days, so the exact same actually. And if we was to consider that history doesn't rhyme but it repeats, and that we would at least have a high. You know, maybe it's very similar. Maybe it's half of that. You know, that puts us at 1.6 trillion in terms of like overall value. And then you have uh, over here, this person is saying that it's over 2 trillion, right? In terms of like total crypto. So if that is the case, then that means we're right here. Super early in the cycle. And I do agree. I do agree. Like if you just think about the cycle so far, what have we seen? We've seen meme coins. And Solana, Ethereum, RNDR, a few AI coins. Nothing. Last cycle, at these stages, like in your 546 days here, 546 days, like at these peaks, like total crypto market cap, at that stage, we seen every coin at all time high. Every coin. And it wasn't a thing of like, you know, where can I invest in the next thing that's wrecked that might come back? It was more of like, what's the new project coming out? Because all the old projects are already there. And it goes on, right? He says, before I begin, I've got a favor to ask, follow him, right? So let's give this guy a follow because you know, it's just some cool information, right? Due to what's happening with the market right now, many might think that this is the end. But in reality, we haven't even approached it, right? It's just the beginning. If we dig deeper, you can see what's happening. And this is pretty much the case right now. I was speaking to a lot of people and they're saying that because Bitcoin is going to crash, you know, you've probably been looking on YouTube right now and people are saying, well, you know, if Bitcoin breaks this support, then it's game over and we're back into a bear market. <laughs> Guys, it's not. It's not going to happen, right? You have to you have to have conviction in that, like this, like faith, something, right? And use this video to develop that because if you don't believe that, you're never going to buy the dip. You're always going to buy the pumps, you know? Uh, and you can see it here. This is one of the major things. Is number one, YouTube metrics are five times lower compared to the last cycle. At 70,000 BTC in 2021, 
we had 4 million views per day. Now, BTC is 70K again. We only have 800,000 views. You can see the difference in traffic. You can see, you know, these are some of the biggest channels like Alex Becker, BitBoy, Benjamin Cohen, uh, Altcoin Daily. And during the times of the last cycle when Bitcoin was at the same level, views were through the roof. Any video about anything about the Bitcoin price, everybody wanted to know. But now, we're at the same price, and yet it is quiet, right? Another thing is, it's the highest dilution ever. This is all the different blockchains, all the different coins that are on those blockchains, and I don't even think that this includes all the meme coins, right, on Pump Fund and all that stuff there. So, in fact, yeah, it says it here. It doesn't even include Solana, right? So, there are more coins and there's more supply than there are demand. Way more compared to even last cycle. So that means there's a lot. We need more money in the space to pump it. And the next thing, trading volume, way lower, right? I'll be honest, guys, even from my side, I'm not doing many trades. Like before, I would just do leverage trades, 10x longs, 10x longs, like <laughs> all the time. But right now, surely like what, what you're probably experiencing now, it's easier to just buy things on pump.fun and, uh, and on, on Solana or on base chain. Like meme coins right now, you know what you're getting. You're going to get wrecked in a day and lose all your money, or you're going to make a 10, 15 X or, or double your money, right? You know what you're getting. Whereas with a trade, sometimes you're putting on a 5X, 10X leverage trade and you're spending weeks looking at the charts. Now, and clearly people feel the same way because trading volume is down massively right now, right? And one of the final things here uh, that I really wanted to show you is this. This is one that actually stuck out for me. And this is the fact that it says, here is a key indicator. Let's go back. Let's see if it loads up. Yeah. Here is a key indicator with a perfect track record for spotting the peaks of a major crypto bull run. When Coinbase becomes the most top app downloaded in the finance space, it has been true historically and will repeat again. Which makes you think, well, actually, it's kind of true, right? Because what I think is, okay, how do we know uh, when it's a top four? Normally, it's when retail are in the space. When all the retail traders are there, they say it's the exit liquidity and that's the time to get out. Well, you know when the retailer are in the space the most, when everybody's downloading Coinbase, everybody's on Coinbase, everybody's a trader, everybody's on, on, uh, on, uh, on TradingView and Telegram. And you can see this here, right? Right now it's number 37, which is crazy. And yeah, you can say like, you, you can make the argument that there's different apps now. A lot of people use Phantom, which is true. And Phantom at some stages is like number one in some areas. But again, I don't think all the people on Phantom is necessarily retail because most people don't understand about, you know, pump.fun and deck screener and, you know, bunk bot wallets. Like you actually do have to have a lot of knowledge. Whereas I would consider like a complete retail investor to be somebody that knows nothing about crypto. They're just downloading the Coinbase and buying the top five coins, and buying a bit of Dogecoin. You know what I mean? So yeah, this is actually interesting. And, and I'm going to keep an eye on this because this probably will be, uh, will be a top signal. And if you think about base chain guys, because all the people that download it this time around, this cycle round, they're going to be on base chain, which means that the retail, which usually drives some of the biggest, most ungodly pumps out there, like your Dogecoin pumps, the 100Xs, the 1000Xs, probably going to be on base chain in the future, right? So that's my evidence, and this is what I'm doing, right? I think that this cycle, right, this cycle is very similar to when Binance Coin popped off. If you guys wasn't around, you know, last cycle, you won't know about the Binance war, right? Uh, Binance coin, BNB, let me find a better chart. But BNB went absolutely, like, absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. And let's find a good one. Let's go. Right? When Binance released Binance Chain, the chart went absolutely parabolic. You can see it here, right? We went from... six cents up to about six hundred and forty two dollars right so from sorry from six dollars or seven dollars to 
an all-time high of $687. Uh, so basically 100x. Now think about this. Where did Solana go recently? Right? When people started trading meme coins. Well, I'll give you the answer. It's gone currently from about let's just say eight dollars to two hundred and eighteen dollars. Right, so about a twenty x or a eighty twenty thirty x, right? Quick maths. Or well, let me know in the comments. So is the rally for Solana over? No. Here's the difference, right? If it is to be the same and Solana goes up to $800, it's exactly the same as what happened with BNB last cycle. And why was BNB's uh, push so strong? Well, it's because of Binance Chain. And it was much cheaper than Ethereum. Last cycle, a lot of people were doing high yield plays. So you'd be able to stake your BNB and you'd be able to flip your BNB in obviously meme coins and also like a high yield plays. So like you'd stake your BNB and you get something ridiculous, like a thousand percent a week. And obviously a lot of them would blow up. Some of them would do well. And they'd be like these crazy Ponzi's, which people were using that to flip their BNB. Sounds very similar. Sounds like people trading their Solana for meme coins to flip and increase their Solana, right? And what happened last cycle? Well, last cycle, exactly at a similar time to where we are now, this was the BNB rally. And all the retail investors came into the space trading and using this BNB. And eventually it did die out and it did tear. And when it did that, the money went in to real altcoin projects, right? And I'm not the only one again that believes this, right? If you look at this, the same tweet, it also says here, it says, look, the familiar market structure has been disrupted. BTC pump, Ethereum pump, high caps, mid to low caps, and meme coins. That's the usual way cycles work, right? Even last cycle, it was similar, but people didn't spot what I've just explained between the BNB and stuff. This cycle, what have we seen? BTC and meme coins. That's it, right? So the cycle is very different, right? The cycle is very, very different, right? So that's what I think, right? I think Solana is the best play right now. Very similar to our BNB is done. It's not finished. It probably will go to $800 to $1,000. It will be 100x from the bottom. I also think that meme coins are not finished yet because there isn't enough retail in this space trading meme coins. Like, it's increasing and you can see the snowball is getting bigger because, you know, even like some of the VCs I know now are moving towards meme coins and they didn't care about it three months ago, you know? And the on-chain data, if we go to a website called DeFi Llama and I ask, really, honestly, guys, if you guys want to develop your own conviction and know this data, I recommend checking out this website. It's completely for free. They haven't sponsored this video, but it's one of the best places for alpha right now and just understanding like where the money is. You can see in terms of total value lock, and that just means all the money on the network, Ethereum is still the largest out there, right? This might include base. Let me see if it does include base. No, it doesn't. Base is actually separate. We'll add that as well. Uh, but you can see Ethereum is still the, the big daddy there, right? Um, all the other ones are a lot, lot smaller, right? If we get rid of Ethereum, we can see the next in line is, is actually a BSC. And then getting close to BSC is actually Solana. See, it's aligning with, with, with exactly what I'm thinking, like, Solana is the new uh, the new BSC. It's like, like, what noobs do you know, including myself, right? Use BNB anymore. <laughs> Nobody, right? It's crazy. The, uh, the only reason why BNB is pumping is because of the, the, the staking and you get airdrops for, for new coins and you can make money that way. Next, we have volume, right? This is the volume on the network. People actively trading and, and doing what they're doing. It doesn't have, unfortunately, it doesn't have much other volume for anything else. I think Solana's up there. Um, but it only has, let's see if it refreshes on this video. That's a shame. Uh, revenue, is it only going to show these ones? Active addresses, surely. That's a shame. That's a shame. Let's, let me have a look at the, uh, we'll have a look online. Active addresses for Ton. Because this is another thing that I want to show you. See this. This. June 13th, what are we now? June 21st, right? 
Khan flips ETH in daily active addresses. Right, but that's not the full picture. This is what I wanted to show you, right? So even though there is more TVL on Ethereum, this isn't the full picture that people are also seeing. Because I think that obviously you have you have base chain and Coinbase, as we've mentioned. But you also have something which I haven't spoke about so far, which is your ton and your base chain, right? The money and the opportunity is going to be on ton, base chain, and Solana. I think Ethereum stays big in, in terms of TVL simply because of, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's the dinosaur, it's the big daddy. But I don't think that's going to be where the life-changing gains are going to be made. And this means, guys, and let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video on this, you need to understand base chain, you need to understand the ton network, and you need to understand Solana. You have to have money in all of those areas because when opportunity comes to you, and like, let's say if there's a coin on base, you got to just go for that book, bought it. If there's a coin on Solana, you got to have a bot to buy that too. And on ton, and I presume you don't know how to use ton yet, right? All my ton worms wise up. And again, if we look at the current market cycle so far, right now, if I go into, uh, let's, let's have a look at the Bitcoin thing. This is... This hasn't changed. This hasn't changed at all. This hasn't changed from the free course. This hasn't changed from uh, my market cycles videos. My opinion on where we are right now is still in the same altcoin season, right? We're, we're, still, we're still cooking into there. Nothing has changed, right? Even if, you know, I've had a lot of people say, like, what about if we go down to 48K? Nothing's changed. Right, even if we come down to fifty-seven k, nothing's changed, because guys, if we go down and all coins go down another fifty percent from where they are now, it's only going to take days or weeks for it to come back. And if you hold Solana, if you hold Bitcoin, if you hold uh, Ethereum, then all I do is if there's a huge market capitulation, I just consolidate into the coins that are going to pump again. First coins to pump again, which is always your layer ones. Always your, your layer ones, or like your AVAXs, you know, obviously your Solana, your Ethereum, and you can just do 3x leverage longs, you know, like if if BTC comes down to 48k, then while it's down here, Solana's going to be wrecked, and I'll just put a 3x leverage long on Solana with my Solana holdings as a perpetual long, and make money all the way back up here, because it's unlikely that once we come here, that will go any lower, right, so... So obviously you got your Michael Sailors and that would remortgage everything. So you guys can see here, right? We're still early, right? We're still early. In this video so far, and I'm not finished yet, I've got one last thing to show you guys, so make sure you stay tuned. I've already shown you proof that this is early, right? It's a shakeout. BTC is 20% down from all time high, right? There is nothing, nothing to be afraid of. Even though your portfolio is probably wrecked right now, yeah. 10% down, which means 20% to get back up, right? Nothing to be afraid of. Secondly, the biggest networks is what you should be looking at because on a rebound, wherever that rebound may be, they're going to be the places to make life-changing gains. I also believe that this is the stage where we was at last cycle, where BNB was the thing that was popping. Now it's Solana. So instead of flipping your BNB, you're flipping your Solana flipping your meme coins, stuff like that. So that means Solana is the place to be, along with your base chains, along with your ton. The total value on these networks will increase. The active wallets are going crazy, obviously, because everybody has a Telegram wallet. And that means that this is the last stand. So careful with your trades, careful to not get liquidated, and stay strong. And let me know in the community, and also inside of the Telegram group, the link for that is in the description, what you are buying okay and the final thing is i am doing a giveaway for all with tate holders this is one of our uh, community coins it's the coin i made for the community uh, to, to catch on with andrew tate narrative as you've probably seen on my channel right uh the top holders right now this holder here uh, jha if you have a look it is actually andrew tate as well and you can see this coin is making a lot of people in the community uh, a lot of money these are the guys that got in on pump funds. Some people make, you know, five grand, four grand. 
this person, I don't know if that's true, I definitely have to check that, but turned 15 cents into six grand, which is ridiculous. Uh, I think this is the Jupiter DCA bot, but again, that's 1700 to $8,000. You've got somebody turned, uh, somebody made two grand, I think he invested like 100 grand, I don't know why somebody did that, but big up you, you still made money. $79 to $2,000, like, it's a community coin. I personally, I'm not making any money on this. I believe in like the, the karmic stuff. So I sent the dev wallet uh, over to Andrew Tate. I've sent uh, all the tokens that I hold. And I'm also getting my business partner to do giveaways uh, for token holders as well to add them more tokens. So this coin is completely for the community. And it's for you guys to speculate and do what you're doing. And also any money that I make from Telegram at the moment and from the referrals on Bonkbot and stuff like that, anything from the community, I will do my best to give away all of that to people who hold with Tate and who are part of the community. And I also allow people to vote. I think we did a vote recently. And I said, look, guys, I've got another four Solana. So far, we've given away like almost $8,000 in the past two weeks. Who do you want to vote for? What, what do you want to vote for what we do next? People said, you know, either Tate with hat holders to my Twitter followers to uh, take with hot buybacks and burns, which is interesting, or wait for a bigger bag. And just by 1%, people chose take with hot holders. So if you head over to my Twitter right now, that is the Crypto King. You can see this over here. You can actually uh, be in with a chance of winning some Solana. We're going to do probably one Solana to four people. Just go onto my page, the Crypto King underscore. Have a look for the giveaway. It is here. I might actually pin it as well and you can enter this giveaway so guys thank you very much for being a part of the channel subscribe and check out the next video for oh, probably that way next video uh for a free course on everything you need to know about crypto i'll see you in the community peace